My name is Zach. Uh, I'm the technician in charge of adult mosquito surveillance for the Antelope Valley Mosquito and Vector Control District. So what I'm doing now is I'm just collecting the trap. Uh, this one in particular is the BG Sentinel trap. Usually I put these up in residential areas uh, just to see if there are any issues with the invasive Aedes mosquito. Uh, this is also good for collecting any mosquitoes that are local, the Culex mosquito. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So usually with the service request, I call ahead uh, just to see if they're still willing to have a trap placed on the property. Um, so just going to be walking up. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm Zach from the Mosquito Control District. We talked earlier. Uh, are you still all right with us setting traps up on the property? Yeah, absolutely. Let me just show you around the back. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. So I've picked out this site to set up the trap. We tend to set our traps up uh, where there's plenty of shade and vegetation since during the day for at least the Culex mosquitoes, the local mosquito, they tend to rest in vegetation. We also want to avoid cooking the mosquitoes after they get caught. So the shade is always an ideal place to set these traps up. Let's just attach the last parts. Let's get this trap powered up. Inside each trap, there is a fan powered by a battery. We have pre-charged. And last, we have the dry ice to lure the mosquitoes. And that's pretty much it for the BG trap. Uh, these are set up for a single night and are collected the following day. Uh, usually we have them set up after 10 o'clock and then collected uh, before 10 o'clock the following day. Okay, so I picked out another good site for a CO2 trap. Again, making sure it's not in a place where dogs will think it's a toy. There we go. A stable branch. So in this cooler, we have CO2, or we have dry ice, which will evaporate into CO2, tricking mosquitoes into thinking that there's someone over here to bite. We have the fan attached here, powered by just simple batteries. Get the netting all set up, making sure it's not inside out, make sure there's no residual mosquitoes. Tying it up. Shake things around a little bit, and it should be good. So this is one of our Intercare traps. Uh, these traps are usually set up in areas where we have detected the invasive 80s mosquito. Uh, how it works is that mosquitoes uh, will fly into here. There will be some uh, water in here as well as a pesticide. Mosquitoes will fly in, attempt to lay their eggs, and well, they will actually lay their eggs, uh, but the pesticide in the water will actually attach to the mosquito. So when they fly off and potentially go to another source, they will actually be spreading that pesticide to those sources we may not, be, may not be able to have access to or may not be aware of. So basically the mosquito uh, basically becomes an employee and helps us out in our efforts. This is one of our district's New Jersey light traps. Uh, this one uses an external power source, usually just an outdoor outlet to run the fan and the light, which is connected to a light sensor. So the light turns on at night, attracting mosquitoes who are attracted to the light at night. Uh, and they get sucked into the fan and into this jar which is then upon once a week is removed and the Dixie cup that's inside is then taken out and brought back to the district and everything caught inside is then identified by our entomologist. 
So usually the New Jersey collects a variety of different insects, not just mosquitoes. So we just have to sort through them, see what's there and pick out the mosquitoes.